Anna did not sleep all night. She was excited. Early in the morning, her father called her. Come on, Anna. It's time to get up. It's a long way to the station. Anna got dressed and was soon ready, but she did not eat any breakfast because she was nervous. She was going to visit her aunt in Nera, and it was her first time traveling alone on a train. Anna and her father left the village and began to walk to the station, which was a long way. They reached the station at midday, and soon the train came. It was nearly empty, and Anna got in, feeling frightened. It was her first journey away from home. Your aunt will meet you at Naira, her father said. Be careful now, Anna. Don't talk to any strangers. The train started suddenly, and soon it was going fast. Anna watched her father as he looked smaller and smaller until he disappeared. The train journey was very long. Anna looked out of the window as the fields, trees, villages, and animals rushed past. After a long time, she began to feel sleepy. She was very tired, so she fell asleep. Later, Anna woke up and realized it was dark outside. She felt small and lost, a long way from her village and her father. There was a man in the carriage with her now. He had an ugly face and was very big and strong. His hair was very short, and he looked bad and dangerous. The man smiled at Anna and said, Hello, you're awake now, are you? Where are you going? Anna remembered her father's words and did not say anything. Are you going to Polona? asked the man. Anna was surprised and replied, No, to Naira. Naira, said the man, but we passed Naira two hours ago. You were asleep. Anna wanted to cry and sat very still. It was warm in the carriage, but Anna felt cold. We've passed Naira? she asked. Yes, said the man. Anna thought of the journey back to Naira. How much did it cost? She did not have any money. She thought of her aunt at Naira Station. Don't worry, said the man. I'll help you. What's your name? Anna, she said. My name is Sam, said the man. You can trust me, Anna. Anna looked at Sam again. He was very ugly, with a long scar on his face, and he looked dangerous. But he seemed kind. Was he good or bad? Anna did not know. The train began to slow down, and Sam got up to look out of the window. Anna saw a newspaper on Sam's seat with his photograph on the back page. Above the photograph was a headline. This man is a dangerous fighter. Now Anna was sure. Sam was a bad and dangerous man. He was a criminal. Anna must be careful and get away from him quickly. Sam left the window and said, We're coming into Polona now. Stay with me. I'll help you. The train stopped, and Anna jumped up and ran to the door, wanting to run away. However, the door was very heavy, and she could not open it. 
Sam was standing behind her and said, I'll open it. At the station exit, Anna was stopped and asked for her ticket. She explained, This ticket is for Naira. I fell asleep and passed Naira. I haven't got any money. A voice said, I'll pay. It was Sam. Thank you, sir, Anna said. Come with me, Anna, Sam said. Anna wanted to run away, but she was frightened of Sam. She was tired and lost. Kelowna was a big town, and Anna did not know anybody there. Sam called a taxi and told Anna to get in. The Boxer Hotel. Sam said to the driver. The taxi went a long way through the wide and busy streets of Polona, with lots of cars, shops, and people. The taxi turned into a small, dark street and stopped. Sam got out and paid the taxi driver. Anna looked up and down the street. Come on, Anna, said Sam. Anna could not run away. She was weak and slow. Sam was big and strong. She followed Sam into the hotel. There was a cafe inside the hotel. It did not look very clean. Two men were drinking and playing cards. They saw Sam. One of them said, Hello, Sammy. Come and have a drink. Who's the pretty girl? Sam took off his coat and sat down. Hello, Tino. Hello, Bubs, he said. This is Anna. She's lost. The men looked at Anna and laughed. Lost, is she? said Tino. Poor Anna. You're a lucky man, Sam. Have a drink. Sam gave Anna a chair. She sat down and looked at the men. Tino had a mustache, but Bubs did not have any front teeth. They looked tough. The men were drinking. Tino gave Anna a glass. Come on, Anna, he said. Drink some wine. Anna pushed the glass away. She thought, I mustn't eat or drink anything. These men will give me a drug. Then I will fall asleep. Sam called the waiter. Bring some dinner, he said. Bring some good hot food. The waiter came with the food. Bubs put some of the food on a plate and gave it to Anna. It looked good and smelled delicious. Anna forgot about drugs and began to eat. She ate quickly and finished everything. She put her spoon down. The men were looking at her and laughing. Anna was very frightened again. Come on, Anna, said Sam. You're tired. You must go to bed now. He took her arm. Lock her door, Sam, said Tino. There are bad men in Polona. You must keep her safe. Bubs laughed. Good night, Anna, he said. Sam took Anna upstairs and into a bedroom. Her heart was beating fast. Good night, Anna, said Sam. He smiled at her. Don't worry. You are safe here. Anna did not say anything. Sam seemed kind, but she remembered the newspaper. Sam was dangerous, and his friends looked dangerous too. She must escape. 
Sam went out of the room and shut the door. He locked it and went downstairs. Anna sat on the bed and cried. Downstairs, the men drank and played cards. Anna heard their voices. They were laughing. After a long time, she fell asleep. Anna woke up late. The sun was shining. She looked out of the window. The waiter was sitting outside in the street. He was smoking a cigarette and reading a newspaper. Anna looked around the room. It was dirty. There was some old paper on the floor. In one corner, there was a small table with some things on it. Anna had an idea. There was a bureau on the table. She took the bureau and picked up a piece of paper from the floor. She wrote, Please help me. I want to go to Naira. My aunt is waiting for me there. I must escape. I have no money and no friends. Anna. She threw the note out of the window. The waiter picked it up. He read the note, looked up, and saw her. He smiled at her and went into the hotel. Anna heard voices outside her room. Somebody unlocked the door. The waiter came in, followed by a policeman. It's a policeman, thought Anna. He has brought a policeman. She ran forward. It was Sam holding her note in his hand. Good afternoon, Sam said to Anna. You've slept very late. You must be hungry. Come and have some food. We're going soon. The waiter smiled at Sam. Anna understood. The waiter did not want to help her. He and Sam were friends. Anna went downstairs with Sam, and they gave her some food. But she was not hungry. She did not eat or drink anything. Sam went outside into the street. Anna heard voices. Sam was talking to a man. What were they planning? Sam came inside again. Come on, Anna. We must go now, he said. A taxi was waiting outside. Anna and Sam got in. Where are we going? Anna asked. Sam looked at her. I'll take you to your aunt later, he said. First, I have an important job to do. Sam smiled. The smile twisted his face. He looked very ugly. Soon the taxi stopped. Sam and Anna got out. They were outside a big building. There was a notice outside. Anna understood now. Sam was a boxer. Dangerous fighter meant good boxer. Sam was not a criminal. Anna followed Sam into the building. It was a very big hall. There were seats on all sides. In the middle was the boxing ring. Tino and Bubs were waiting for them. Stay here, Anna, said Sam. Tino and Bubs will look after you. I must go now. Tino and Bob shook Sam's hand. Good luck, Sam, said Bubs. You'll win, all right, said Tino. Anna smiled at Sam for the first time. Good luck, Sam, she said. Tino and Bubs took Anna to a seat beside the ring. Tino sat on one side of her, and Bob sat on the other. Anna sat quietly and waited. The two men talked excitedly. 
Sam's going to win, said Tino. Of course he'll win, said Bubs. He's the best fighter in the country. Anna listened. Sam was famous. Everybody wants him to win, said Tino. Everybody likes him. That's right, said Bubs. Sam's a great boxer, and he's a good man, too. You know a story about Sam, said Tino. One night, he was asleep in bed. He heard shouts in the street, and he looked outside. A house was on fire. He ran outside. There was a child in the burning house. He went inside and saved the child, but he was badly hurt. His face was burned, and he got a bad scar. Poor Sam, said Bubs. That's why he's so ugly. They both laughed. Anna was listening quietly. She now understood everything. She was safe with Sam. She felt sorry for him. Is the fight going to start soon? She asked Tino. Yes, of course, said Tino. It will start very soon. The hall was full of people now. Boys were selling cigarettes and sweets. Everybody was laughing and joking. The referee was waiting in the ring. The audience was excited now. Sam! Sam! We want Sam! They shouted. Sam climbed into the ring. He was wearing short trousers and big boxing gloves. He raised both hands in the air. The crowd clapped. Sam! 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 They shouted. The other fighter climbed into the ring. He was very big and strong. Here comes Danny, said Tino. He's a very good fighter. Anna was worried. Don't you worry, Anna, said Bubs. Sam's the best fighter in the country. The referee called the two boxers to the center of the ring. He spoke to them quietly for a few moments. Then Sam and Danny shook hands. The two fighters went back to their corners and waited. A bell rang, and the fight began. Danny was younger than Sam, but he was a good fighter. He moved fast. He tried to hit Sam, but Sam jumped away every time. Sam's arms were long. He moved very quickly. He hit Danny hard many times. Anna was very excited. Her hands held the seat tightly. It was a long fight. Sam moved quickly. He hit Danny often, but Danny did not fall down. Sam was getting tired. He was moving more slowly. Anna was worried. The crowd was shouting for Sam. Sam! Anna shouted. Sam! Come on, Sam! Watch out! Tino and Bubs were shouting too. Danny hit Sam's face hard. Blood came out of Sam's nose, and one of his eyes was nearly closed. But Sam did not stop. He ran forward and hit Danny with all his strength. Danny fell over and lay still. The referee started to count. One, two, three, four. Danny did not move. Five, six, seven. Danny tried to get up, but he could not. Eight, nine, ten. Danny lay still. The fight was over. Sam was the winner. Anna was laughing and clapping. Well done, Sam. Well done, Sam, she shouted. Nobody heard her. Everybody was shouting for Sam. We want Sam, 
We want Sam. Tino and Bubs took Anna to the dressing room. Sam was resting. Hello, Sam, said Anna. You were great. Sam was surprised. Hello, Anna, he said. You're different now. You didn't talk to me before. I'm sorry, Sam, said Anna. I was frightened. I know, said Sam. I'm big and ugly, and you were frightened. But I'm not a criminal. I'm sorry, Sam. Anna said again. I was wrong. I'm not frightened now. Sam was pleased. Come on, Anna, he said. We'll go to Naira now. Your aunt is waiting for you. Anna said goodbye to Tino and Bubs. She got into a taxi with Sam. It was a long way to Naira and Anna asked Sam many questions. They talked and talked and talked. They reached Naira at night. It was dark. Sam knew Naira. He quickly found Anna's aunt's house. They knocked on the door. Anna's aunt was standing in the doorway. She was crying. Oh, Anna. Anna, she said. Thank God you are here at last. Then she saw Sam. He looked terrible. His face was cut and bruised after the fight. Anna, she said. Who is this man? Auntie, Anna said. Don't be angry. This is Sam. I fell asleep on the train and passed Naira Station. Sam helped me. He took me to a hotel and brought me to Naira in a taxi. Anna's aunt looked at Sam again. Wait a minute, she said. She ran inside and came back with a newspaper. Sam's photograph was on the back page. Are you Sam the boxer? she asked. Yes, I am, said Sam. Anna's aunt was pleased. Sam was famous. He was a great man. Everybody knew him. Come in, Sam, she said. Please sit down. Will you have some tea? Anna sat in the room with her aunt and Sam. She did not say anything. She felt very happy. Anna's aunt asked Sam many questions. She laughed a lot. She liked him. It was getting very late. I must go now, Sam said. Can I come and see you again? asked Anna. Yes, Sam said. Anna smiled at him. <laughs>